Weren't there like four Mojo videos you were going to watch? <laughs> Funny you say that. These are the top 10 shocking kid show scandals. <gasps> I hope I can watch this. We're gonna watch this. We're gonna hope that it's all silly stuff because the thumbnail was Bob uh, doing that. <laughs> so I think this should be okay. Have you guys ever watched an episode of Peppa Pig? That's a weird question, I know. So we've been trying to find shows for Juliet. Peppa Pig is an asshole. All they do is call their dad fat the entire show and not share. The, the dad is only in the show so that everybody can laugh at how fat he is. I hate Britain, dude. Pokemon has to be in here, right? Number 10, potential Islamophobia. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? <laughs> Okay, okay, I did not expect that out of nowhere. I did not- <laughs> What? This is number 10? <laughs> For Fireman Sam? What happened? Fireman Sam. One of the characters enters a room and slips on some papers, one of which looks like a page from the Quran. Okay. Mattel came out saying thought they were putting scribbles on a page. Despite the apology, people were up in arms about it on social okay, media. Okay, that's a little weird. <laughs> that is a little weird. That That's a little strange and weird. I feel like somebody just threw it on there. Or it's one guy. One guy's just being a piece of shit. Social that media. one... Thank God it wasn't. I thought one of these characters was just going to straight out come out and say it. I thought one of these characters was going to be very intolerant. Controversial tweets. Show, what did Raphael say? That Is that Splinter? He's not even a rat. Image. However, it seems that Jason Biggs, who played Leonardo in TMNT, didn't get the memo. Jason <laughs> Biggs, what did you say? His thoughts on Twitter about the Republican National Convention and the private parts of Ann Romney, Paul Ryan, and Jana Little. You gotta control your temper. Until then, <laughs> Jason? We just responding to the controversy, Jason Biggs insinuated this was far from the worst he's done. Yeah, I remember him fucking a pie in a movie once. So I'm surprised that he's not allowed to say that he doesn't like Republicans. He has sex with this pie, by the way, in case you haven't. Uh, this was a big deal. In, in, the, in the early 2000s, we said we, this was the highest form of comedy. This and cum on someone's ear. That was so funny, you guys. And now, Zoomer humor is just saying the word cum. Censored dance. Steven Universe. What can I do Censored? In what a do show they that do? includes a lot of LGBTQ plus themes, you would think that the network that commissioned it would want to maintain that vision around the world. Apparently not in the United oh. Kingdom. During the episode this reminds me, do you guys remember Beauty and the Beast? So when the Beauty and the Beast live remake came out, Disney made this big deal about uh, one of the characters being gay. Hold on. <laughs> Disney's first ever gay character. Uh, it's a, it's a huge deal for the franchise. It's gonna be unbelievable. Huge step forward. There's one scene at the end of the movie where LeFou holds his hand out to another guy and they dance. For like, 10 seconds? Thanks, Disney. Oh, dude. It's so fucked up. Why even lie? Why even lie? Flashing images cause mass mania. Oh, it's this. Porygon. He made it. He made it. Don't when do it, Porygon! Why does Pikachu hate the children of Japan? And triggered seizures in children with epilepsy. Oh and my then the news God, of it reportedly dude. created mass hysteria. That's it terrifying that this could just happen on TV and you don't know about anyone. it. And us either. Like your your kid could just be watching TV question. and this happens. The episode was understandably oh my pulled God. from broadcast. Number five. Bob the Builder drops <laughs> the F-bomb. Bob, Bob, don't do it. He is a construction worker. They're rather crass. During this segment, Bob mumbles as he struggles with the task. <laughs> I think I heard it. Swearing. While it was I think I heard it the first part. Midlines were muted for later broadcasts. <laughs> Number four. That's actually way funnier. If he is just cursing. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. Like Yosemite Sam. There it is. Oh, dude. You guys, I, bro, when this happened, Tinky Winky was a cultural menace. You had people 
on Fox News hating Tinky Winky. They hated this dude. This they hated Tinky Winky, bro. To any to the salty bet guy. <laughs> he does cheat. He does cheat a lot. Uh oh! <laughs> now one Teletubby, the little purple figure carrying a handbag, <laughs> it's is on a national of news. Falwell's conservative religious magazine alleged that the purple character Tinky Winky was a covert gay role model. <laughs> the reason for this is because while the character is assumed to be male, bro. he carries around what looks like a woman's handbag. That's your role model? I want to be Tinky Winky. Honestly, probably a better role model than 90% of streamers, though. If I have to pick Tinky Winky or Summit 1G, I think I know which one I'm picking. What about Coney? Listen, I, I you make these judgments for yourself. How do I compete with this guy? He's like 6'3". <laughs> I can never be him. Peppa's friendly attitude to spiders could be dangerous <laughs> for Australian children. It's too scary. Wait, so they uh, wait. They aired a show where Peppa is really nice to a spider, and she like takes her into the, her dollhouse and is friends with her. And if they air this in Australia, you could actually kill a kid. That's actually messed up. But she's mean to her dad in every country. Number one, terrible reaction. Oh, yo, yo, we watch this show. This makes sense. Oh, yeah. Okay. This would be quite a scandal. What a funny show. The cash prize reality show <laughs> Kid Nation sent a group of 40 children of various ages into the desert, challenging them to create a functioning society. The crew was informed... Oh, I forgot about this kid. Oh, this guy. Jimmy? Yeah, Jimmy wants to go home. Dude, if I'm... I'm, I'm honestly more mad at the parents, right? The parents are way worse here. Why did they sign their kids up for this? It's like summer camp, but really cheap. I guess it's like summer camp, but you get paid. That's what it was. Okay. We've seen dangerous kids toys, but this is a new video on banned kids toys, and we watched that video a long time ago, so I have to see. Because <laughs> he, 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 he wanted to eat it because he was hungry for hair. Welcome to Watch Mojo. <laughs> And today we're just hungry down for hair. Keep an eye on that kid. Sky dancers. Who would have thought something so cute would get yanked <laughs> off the shelf? Then definitely chop your eye out. You make her dance and fly. Very dangerous. Incredibly popular with repeated eye injuries, broken teeth, blindness, and even severe cuts were all caused by the out of control spinning dog. Broken teeth? The other stuff I could see. How is she knocking your teeth out, dude? How strong is the kid pulling the ripcord? Those teeth were gonna fall out anyway. Those are wobbly baby teeth. You got a loose tooth. Those parents are getting paid out. Atomic lab kids. Oh yeah, so we've seen this one. Okay, yeah. A nuclear reactor in your home. I I wonder about this sometimes, cause like, you know, slime is big now with kids' toys. Kids love slime. What if slime in 50 years were like, oh yeah, that like, uh, makes your bones brittle. And so your hand just becomes goo, but only in 50 years of exposure. Number we never eight. know. Clackers. Clackers. For the night, the kids will oh my God, that. The, can you spread out? It was all fine and You're too close. The balls started exploding. <laughs> Enough force applied. The collision would cause the balls to shatter, sending shards what? of glass or plastic in any direction. Oh no! In, How hard are you clacking? Bro, these kids are strong. I want clackers. Those look fun. Yo -yo water balls. Wait, I had these. I loved the these. Ball. I loved these. What? What's wrong with now them? Imagine if pulled too far, the snapback could be quite painful. Yeah, yeah. And the liquid in the ball was toxic. Everything <laughs> about this bouncing ball said. Okay, there's an easy way to fix that. Then why did you? Why did they make it toxic? Don't eat it. Why couldn't it just be water? Number, shelf, number five. Tubes. And you'll see exactly why this kind of toy has no business on store shelves. It's essentially a modified what? inner tube designed to catch air while being dragged behind a boat. Once airborne, neither the boat driver or the passengers had any control over how the tube <laughs> react to the air current. Oh my god, dude! Broken bones, punctured lungs, and damaged eardrums are all injuries sustained as a result of the That's violent insane. crash back into the water. That's insensitive. That's very insensitive, Watch Mojo. You couldn't find a better clip? Dude, that's so high. How do you get a punctured lung from that?
Snack time, Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> that girl no is hungry. These kids are hungry, bro. They, they love to snack. Released they really do. Kids quickly discovered the mouth wouldn't stop until whatever it ate was fully immersed in their little friend. <laughs> Combine that with an overpowered motor, uh, kids were getting their fingers and hair stuck in the dolls. Yeah. There's no way to stop them from eating. <laughs> that kid is so fucking hungry. <laughs> Just won't stop and never be sated. Consumption. Above all. All right, what's number one? What was number one on the other video? It's probably the same, right? Number one. It's always lawn darts. It's always lawn darts. It's going to be lawn darts every time. The top 10 biggest pop culture conspiracy theories. And I want you to know, if you're wondering why are we watching this video that doesn't sound interesting, the thumbnail is Vampire Nicolas Cage. I have to know. Lewis Carroll was jacked. <laughs> The murders shocked the Victorian world with their brute. What? I've never heard of this. Lewis Carroll is the author of uh, Alice in Wonderland. Bro, it must have been so easy to get away with murder back then. It still is. Part of me wonders, I always wonder how much like CSI and Law and Order and all that stuff is like almost propaganda to teach you not to do that shit. Look at all these different ways we could find you. But like, could they really? published a book whereby he claimed Carol and a colleague of his were responsible for the attacks. The theory <laughs> has stuck around for quite some time. That's crazy. And you crazy. might never watch Alice in Wonderland the same way again. Number eight, Katy Perry is actually <laughs> <a woman laughs> John Benet Ramsey. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? events of the mysterious murder of child beauty queen, John Benet Ramsey. The mystery around it is capturing world. Where are they finding these people? Australia are involved. I've never <laughs> heard any of these <laughs> theories. The story. There's tons of evidence of Perry as a kid and teenager, yeah. so this theory doesn't really hold up. That's Number it? Seven, That's the whole thing? Okay. Cage is a vampire. <laughs> okay. After All right. A photo of a man from 1870s there he is. Online, this is literally just, hey, you kind of look like that guy. <laughs> okay. You're a vampire and you're famous. Let's say you're a vampire and you become famous. How do you keep the gig up? You have to pretend to die. How do you pretend to age, though? What you would have to do is you have to age to, like, 70, die, and then go away for, like, 200 years. Although not the first celebrity to be deemed immortal, the interaction is hilarious nonetheless. That does look a lot yeah, like him. Because there are some similarities. Yeah, I kind of see it, too. Down. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! And then he did a movie about being a vampire. So obvious, Number dude. Self-report. Stephen King killed John Lennon. He US did? Richard Why would he do that? If the U.S. government wanted to assassinate someone, though, we doubt they would hire a novelist. Why would- why Stephen King? Why do they hate him so much? What did he do? That's such a weird guy to pin it on. He's very crafty. Is he? Walt Disney's body is Bro, oh, I like this frozen. one. I love this one. When is he coming out? Where's my boy Walter? Come on, Walter. Come on out. This one is true. Why would you bring him back and for what? Frozen underneath the Pirates of the Caribbean Clone? Oh, yeah. So you bring him back out when you can clone his brain. And then you have two Walt Disney's. Many celebrities are in the Illuminati. Probably. Over probably true. Celebrities claim that Beyonce and husband Jay-Z are the reigning king and queen of this centuries-old organization. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Entertainers? At the top of the Illuminati? How stupid do you have to be to think that? They're fucking entertainers. <laughs> Hired by the government to throw you off the track, to distract you, to make you laugh and stuff like that, make you happy and docile so you don't know what's really going on. I want to see more of that video. I want to see what Jim was up to. Where was he going with that? Number one, Elvis Presley is still alive. Yeah, that's my goat. Elvis P. I know he's still here. But none are more Dying on the toilet? About the king Come of on. Roll himself. No the way. No one cares? Ban that guy. Elvis is my goat. Ho, That's my dude. Singer, Fuck all this pop culture shit. Time to do some gaming. Don't worry, I'm not playing video games. Don't leave. Instead, we're gonna watch the top 20 cult classic games of all time. Number one has to be Earthbound, right? I saw this, and that's why I clicked on it. Not for the reasons you think. This is from a game called Vampire the Masquerade, which I've always wanted to play. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Bro, this has been on my list forever. I want to play God Hand so bad. Day, we'll be going I want to play God Hand so bad, dude. Video. Number 19, 
Jet Force Gemini. Nobody likes this game. I've never met anybody that likes this game. The only time I hear people talk about this game is like, oh my god, I like Banjo, but have you played Jet Force? Shut up. You're trying to be different. The game is interesting, but it sucks. I mean, that's cool. That's like uh, Silicon Space Valley. That game's neat as hell. It's terrible, but it's really interesting. They tried stuff. Time splitters friend. Bro! These games are fucking phenomenal. I, I feel like if you put these out now, if you put out a Time Splitters collection with online Oh dude, I love these games. Cool. This game this could case, kill now as a free to play well maybe notice. not. But I could see Although this going crazy as a free to play game. It's good gold nine. Sense of humor if they if they put out following. With Time Splitters HD on last, Steam, I would play it tomorrow. To take a trip. Number 12, Spec Ops The Line. You guys play this game? I feel like people hate it now. Shooter it actually has more people hate it now. So I'm going to spoil this game for you, okay? Uh, basically, this game is set up to look like a Call of Duty, like a normal going to this place and liberating the people and freeing the nation and beating up all the re rebels, whatever. And then halfway through the game... You have to make the decision to use white phosphorus on some enemies. Only it turns out they're not enemies, they're civilians, and you just blew up, you committed a war crime on some innocent people. There's one point where you're stuck in the middle of a big group of people. You're, like, surrounded on all sides, and you have a gun in your hand. So your natural instinct is to shoot the people down and get past them. They're all civilians, they're all innocent, but, like, you can't get through them. So, as a gamer... You think the game is saying, shoot these people to progress. But you can actually just shoot in the air, and they all run away. It's like, oh, okay, well, I didn't even consider that as an option. But there's a lot of little choices like that that they put in. Vampire, the Masquerade, Bloodlines. All right, five through one. Vampire, Stalker, something something, Undertale. Mother? No, it'd just be Earthbound. Not Undertale. Undertale isn't cult. Undertale isn't cult. I said Undertale? What? What do you mean I said Undertale? I didn't say Undertale. Did I? No. I never did. What do you mean I did? When? Wait, really? I meant to say, okay, Vampire, Stalker, Earthbound, Psychonauts, something else. I probably meant Earthbound. My bad, my bad. They're so similar. Ah. Okay, yeah. Game is still fun? No. I tried playing it. I was like, this sucks. Shitty FPS games make me sick when I play them. I just, something about Doom, Quake, it's just the rooms, Marathon, I tried to play, like, it's, yeah! Boom, 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 boom! I want to play this so bad. This game looks hilarious. It's beating the hell out of that guy. Use Ball Buster! <laughs> oh my god! Number two. Dude, that game rules. I want. I gotta play that. That looks excellent, dude. I can't believe Psychonauts 2 was good. Was good? Quotation mark. No, it was genuinely good. Like I can't wrap my head around the fact that they were gone for like 20 years and they put out an amazing game, like Game of the Year, top five. Make it's sure slow and boring. No, it's not. You have to take in the creative level. This. Well, it's Earthbound. One. Earthbound. It's not even a question. It's Earthbound. By the way, this part, not nearly as bad as I thought it was. I played it on the Switch, you know, because it just came out. I was excited. I was like, I'll maybe try it again, but I remembered hating this part. This part's not that bad. Oh, I cheated a lot. Yeah. Classic Earthbound. Dude, this motherfucker. This guy right here. Worst enemy in the game, other than the ghost of Starman. Fuck that guy. Well in Japan, but bomb that guy. I hate that guy. All right, we're done. We're done. Oh, I didn't say buy YouTube. I didn't do the outro. Whatever. Editor, figure it out. Okay. Cheer 20,000. Please give me your best British accent. Zoink, Scoob. Let's get back to the mystery van. <laughs> Why British Shaggy? Zoink, Scoob. Let's get back to the mystery van. Mal's going to be, like, too loud. Stop being cockney Shaggy.